I do this time of the year. One of the big things that people will use right now is they'll, they'll come in and buy the step four uh, programs. I have pros and cons on that. Step four program is a good program for if you don't really know what to put on at that certain time of year, it's kind of tells you what to do. But it's not always necessary to put those things down. You might find that right now probably your step one, the crabgrass preventer with the fertilizer is a good one. But then when you go to put on step two, it might be your weed and feed. Well, you might not have any weeds, but you got the step two, so you're going to put it on. So you're putting on excess material that you really don't need in your yard. Uh, and you could probably just get away with just putting a, a dip, just a small amount of fertilizer on at the time. Or you might find that step two isn't really needed because I don't have wheat, but I have insects. But it's step three that goes on later. It doesn't make any difference. You could actually put that on at the second application if you have a wheat. But then again, your insects might be going on a little bit into the uh, late April or, or May or June, and they, they're telling you to put that one on in August. Well, then they're... Your, your insect population is being uh, chewing up your lawn when you actually should uh, be putting that application. So a lot of times it's, 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 it's uh, one of those programs where they're not putting the, uh, the fertilizers on at the right time, so it's a little bit of waste of a lot of pesticides into the ground uh, applications and uh, groundwater. So watch, watch the four-step programs. So a lot of times you can get away with it's sometimes better to spot spray of might have a weed here, a weed there, or just uh, an insect problem over here and over there. Uh, a lot of times, uh, chinch bugs, uh, middle of summer, you'll find that chinch bugs are damaging your lawn. Well, chinch bugs will not go in shade. Uh, a lot of times you can tell that you have chinch bug damages. Just watch where the sun is or the shade is from your, from your house and where the shade is from the tree, and you'll find an area like this here. And a, run out of house and another spot here and there. It looks perfectly green, but everything else looks like it's drying up and shriveling. You get on your hands and knees and you might see a little chinch bug scurrying around. But it doesn't mean that you have to do the whole on with insecticides, just those little, those areas. So if you can minimize it a little bit, uh, then you only need to buy a certain amount just to control that mm -hmm. or a spray to control it. So that's one of the things about the four-step programs. I think there's a lot of waste um, that people put into their yards on it. But.